Hello, I am Catsby, and welcome back to more Spirit Fair. We've been playing for 4 hours and 38 minutes and 57 seconds. I have counted every single one of those seconds, and we are at 14%. So if we keep going at this rate, we should be down at about 6.7 millennia. Um, oh, you came. Would you look at that, Stella? This little sheep wanted to come with us. I guess it didn't like its new companion after all. Well, no worries, we'll take good care of you. But first, all this wool looks quite uncomfortable, doesn't it? And, oh no, we're on a boat. That's freaking crazy. It's like that's the entire point. It's like that story with the flock of sheep that fell off a boat. Oh, well, we can't have that. Go ahead, Stella, and shear the wool right off its back. It's for the best. Shear. Get snip. Oh, look at its face. Haha, -ha, naked sheep. Oh, you bounce now. Look at you go. Boing. Okay. Well, now that we've uh, successfully stolen a sheep's house key, we're gonna go open the thing. I got that wool fibre in my pocket. But anyway. I don't remember what I was saying before now. Cherry seed, a ceramic bowl again, amongst other things. Oh, oboes. I think that's what they're called. Watch this. Oboe. Oboe. Never mind, don't watch anything. Furugawa. Is there another island with a shrine, dude? I've been I've been missing this sh shrine island. Opal. Alright, let's go ahead and uh where am I at? I'm right here. Let's hit this one up. And then this one up. Wait. This one up. That one up. And then this one up. And then after that, we can head over here. Yeah. I, I think it skipped that last one, but that's fine. Everybody up! Can you get over- talk to me? No. You? Well, aren't you feeling better? And it's much safer, too. And that key, I thought I had lost it, but it was stuck in your thick coat all this time. What a treat! As for you, Stella, I know you'll find a good use for all this extra wool. It's one of my favorite materials. I chose it exclusively for all of my blankets. My husband, of course, always thought they were scratchy. He was such a grump. Anyway, the sheep's wool will grow back very quickly, but only if it's well fed. And this one seems to have a quite a large appetite. I suggest you diligently feed him, otherwise he might get into your garden and destroy your crops. Oh, but I imagine building a sheep corral would keep him in place. You should probably do that as soon as possible, for the good of the sheep and of your crops. Tee hee. Why are you sad? Is hungry. Has a nice house. Was recently hugged. That's good. Oh, thank you, Wes. Quitting kite hungry. Yeah, you enjoy those strawberries, friend. Whoa, 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 It's barrel o'clock, baby. Not barrel. It's crate o'clock. Open the crate. Go diving. Is this a surprise that you're hungry? Because, I'll be honest, if you tell me that, it's- he's hungry. Strawberry. Hard pass. Can you think of something else? Yeah, I have a raspberry. The service is incredible. That's good. That's all you're getting. All the leaves are brown. And the sky is gray. I've been for a walk on a winter's day. Day. Our traveler! Hello, Mr. Seal. Welcome to one of my famous bus stops. I found them. They're mine. All mine. My name is Alex. It's a beautiful name. The best name. But don't call me Alexan Alexander. Blech! It's a garbage name. A garbage name for garbage people. Where was I? Oh, yes! I'm Alex, and I'll be your bus driver. I wasn't always a bus driver. Before, I was an accountant. Numbers were my shame. 
and taking you places is my game. Choo choo. No wait, that's a train. This is a bus stop, and I am your driver. Want to go somewhere? I could turn. No, I'm not turning off the music. Oh, that's the point of this bus. You can take me here. You can take me here and and here. This is the closest we're gonna get to fat tra fat fat travel. Fat travel, boys. And here, no. Yes, actually. Oh, and you're not charging me money, dude? Yeah, you clap, Mr. Seal Man. You're my friend. Game, how do I make pork chop before I go on this island? Recipes. Pork chop, baby. Where's the pork? Where's chop? Pork chop. Literally just pork. Okay. Ooh, it's another village? Oh, and it's got a shrine, baby. Fugarawa, or whatever I just tried to say. Fugawagini. Furogawa. Discovered. Alright, this better unlock me a quadruple somersault 37,000 flip jump. And if it's anything other than that, I'm gonna be disappointed. I'm kidding. I'm expecting so much more. If it's not. If it's not the lottery, but in real life, I'm gonna be disappointed. No. <laughs> Ooh, you look interesting. Where is my brother? He should be here. That's nice. I live a simple life. Okay. Thanks for sharing. Anything in here for me to steal? Hey, what are you? Well, I'm talking to you. Oh, you're a decoration. That's disappointing. Oh, more NPCs to talk to. Don't mind if I do. No, thank you. I don't want to buy your magazine subscription or for whatever you're selling. Okay, uh, I mean, I wouldn't either, but that wasn't very nice to assume that I had a magazine subscription that I was going to sell you. I am going to go cry now. Now, where could it be? Uh -huh. oh, what? Impeccable timing. I am in dire need of assistance. I can tell from your friendly and familiar face that you are undoubtedly the helpful uh -huh. type. Listen, I'm looking to complete this set of five traditional wood prints. They date from the Ushiro period and have sucked and are invaluable. I have found four of them, but alas, the last one eludes me. I am certain it's in this very village. Furthermore, I am absolutely positive that it was recently in the possession of the local shopkeeper, Theodore. But he refuses to even acknowledge its existence. What an irksome little man. Raccoon. Tanuki. Whatever he is. With your help, yes, with that sweet little smile of yours and generally non-threatening attitude, I'm sure... Sure, you can schmooze your way into acquiring that last precious piece. That would be the last missing piece of this slippery puzzle. Well, go ahead, Skipper. I cannot wait. I am going to cry. The tour will commence soon. I'll be calling out when I am ready. I am not getting a tour. Well, where is that child? I've been looking for him all over. He's been acting all sorts of strange. I think he must have eaten bad food or something. If you see him, tell him his mother is looking for him. Don't mention that I'm extremely mad. <laughs> Okay, I won't. Anything up here? Anything for the boys? Anything for the boys? No, I don't get to rob you blind. Can I rob you not blind? A uh, rice patch needs constant nurturing. It's a full-time job. I'd rather eat mangoes and watch the sunset. You know what? I can support that. Anything in this house? For little old Catsby to uh, steal? I guess not. Gwen! Raccoon Man needs to give me stuff. Gwen, give me a hug. Mm. Raccoon Man, thank you. You're welcome. Raccoon Man, talk. Well, hello there, customer. Is our catalog not to your satisfaction? Are you interested in some specialized items? Oh, a wood print, you say? Yes, yes, I know it. Uh, it sat in my special stock for an eternity, and then suddenly everyone was looking for it. At first, it was this pedantic person, very rude, and worse, they were haggling on everything. I didn't even tell them of the print, just gave them some junk instead. That's not very nice. Later, this giant walrus lady came in and demanded I sell it to her. The thought of it crossed my mind to start a bidding war, but she offered me some serious coin for it. That lady, let me tell you, was loaded. Anyway, that's all I know about it. I can't help you with the print, but feel free to browse my wares. 
Okay. Bye. Pork. No. Oh, I'm acquiring it, baby. It's glide time. You guys ready for me to glide? Cat speak glide moment. I'm getting the paraglider. Whoa, flashbang. Flashbang part two. Give me one more flashbang for the road. Oh, I guess not. Worth a shot, though. I bet I poof out my hat real good. Oh, I was right. Where am I going? Literally to space. That's always nice. Hey. I've... I never want to go back home. Being here is sublime. If you want to stay at my place, you're more than welcome. Here's my key. The door stays jammed. You just have to give it a good tug. It always gets stuck. I want to enjoy this view forever. Okay, then you do that. This is not the house of the loaded walrus lady. The word moist should be outlawed. Okay, buddy. You have fun with that. Ah, you're back. Did you manage to get the missing print? No, it was already sold, but how? Wait, is there a competing art collector roaming about? A walrus lady, you say? Of course, of course it was her. That horrid woman. That dim-witted, egotistic, patronizing charlatan. She calls herself the collector, if you can believe it. She doesn't even collect anything. Oh, I'm sure she only bought the print to spite me. I should have known her, never told her about my collection. That ugly sack face. Well, I'm not the one to wave away competition. The ugly witch is in hiding. In hiding from you. I don't specifically know why, but the news of a new spirit fairy made her skitter away like a puny cockroach. How fitting. Yes, yes, you're the spirit fairy. Tell me something I don't know. She should have known better than to tell me the location of her hideout, though. She's hiding at these coordinates. Negative 150-50. Oh boy! We have started a war! It's picture time. Negative 150-50. Pay her a visit, would you? And when you see her, show her this figurine. She'll know. Believe me, she'll know. Oh, do not worry. This is just some junk Theodore gave me. Ceramic figurine. Excuse me. Open the door. I'm going inside. This is my cat. Ooh, a large glim bottle. A bottle made of glim. On the table. On the roof. Wee okay. Heard. You look like you're on a mission. Let me guess. My mom sent you, right? Yes. It was a matter of time. I like being on this lamppost. Uh, I like taking my time. If that doesn't gel with my mom and her conception of time, well, too bad. Her house, her rules. I don't think so. I'm gonna go live in the mountains and not bother anyone. Let's see if she likes that. I'm gonna go tell your mom. I'm gonna go tell your mom. It's crazy. But I'm gonna. Someone's gotta tell his mom. Hey, your son hates you. Hey, your son hates you. What? The goats? The thin air! My boy! You've really cursed this family with all your meddling. Why come here and terrorize us? I will not forget you. I didn't do anything, you go! Oh, you asked me to find him. You, you are the problem, not me. You are the one that, I think it's Taylor Swift. You're the one Taylor Swift warned us about. Hi, I'm the problem, it's me. Oh yeah, items. Hey, uh, hello to you two. Yeah, hey, your mom is blaming me for your absence now. Because it's obviously my fault. I'm just a stranger who just visited your island today. So naturally, you know, Catsby's fault. I should kill your mom. This just in, don't kill moms. Ignore the last thing I said. Do not kill moms. I have an idea. I've been looking at my house. It's a little bare bones. An amateur hand me, man. This doesn't work at all. Maybe we should improve it. A few bells. Hey, whistles. I don't know what exactly. Let me have a look. Follow me. Oh, jeez. Hot naked. I want in your tank! I'm gonna decorate your entire house while you're sleeping. Comet powder? Well, you can have that. A shower. Freaking asking me to build you 
and something that needs comet powder where do you get comet powder at what point are you expecting me little caspy to go wrangle a shooting star to shove in your bathroom manage your expectations you frog but we're gonna go wake everybody up everybody get out of bed i'm going back inside and i'm gonna go find negative 50 negative 150 50. negative 150 150 oh it's up here in narnia so what you're telling me is no pork chops baby what do you want oh Okay, so you're all hungry. My stomach rumbling. You got something to nibble on? Uh, have a coffee. Oh, thank you. I was quite hungry. That's good. Uh, get out of my face. You've already started with the improvements. Carry on. Yeah, thanks for giving me permission or whatever. Whatever that was. Um... Oh, I just have to feed you a little. Pork chops? What? Pork chops? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, I'm so excited. They look damn tasty. And they are. Sprout, you're a miracle, you know that? Oh, this is just so good. Huh, I feel just a bit guilty. And I'm sorry you're running all these culinary errands for me. Look, there was... There was our kid at work, Craig. We used to have long and tight union negotiations, all-nighters. Everyone would be at a standstill, everyone was hungry, and every restaurant was closed. So I would send Craig on these endless 24-hour grocery store crawls for me. I would ask for these impossible gets, saffron, sumac, even anise. And it was something like 2 o'clock in the morning. Our goal was to make the tastiest chops in the world. A meal for everyone on both sides of the table to calm heads and appease stomachs. Their first part didn't always work, but everyone was always well fed. I don't know how he did it, but Craig would always find everything on my list. I would joke with him that he would have to break into people's houses to get this stuff. Jeez, maybe he did. I don't know how you did it, Sprout. You made it taste like home. Here's to you and Craig. All right. Do you think, do you know what my house needs? A desk and some tools. Yeah, that's it. We don't have a lot of space on this boat. It's kind of becoming a dream scenario of mine. My bed next to tools. It's like I'm living in a fantasy. I work on my own projects. Maybe build something for my daughter, Ashley. Yeah, that's... Yeah, what, what's the use, right? It's not like I'm ever going to see her again. I should stop daydreaming about it. I'm just trapped here. You know what's not funny? I can't even remember her face. Okay. So let's just get that desk and I'll figure out what to make. Yep, uh-huh, let's move on. Oh, well, it's the old lady's house. Bye, old lady. Get wrecked. <laughs> I thought I was gonna talk to you, but little did you know. Nope. Improve. Old lady house. Wardrobe. Build it. This one, can't build it. And that one, still can't build it. Wonders! Thanks, old lady. Oh, hello there. Oh, you're tired, aren't you? Of course. So many children are bound to leave you exhausted. Maybe we could play with them a bit, let you rest. What do you think, Stella? Oh, wondrous. We'll have so much fun here. I used to play this game with my grandchildren all the time. Just catch them and bring them back to their mommy. Okay. Get over here! <laughs> mommy pill bug. Certified mommy pill bug moment. Why are you gold? Why are you shining like that? Mommy pill bug. Oh, get in the ocean, pill bug. Wanderers! Oh, you're spoiling me, Stella. What an incredible piece of furniture. It livens the room so much. Yes, much cozier now. 
and filled to the brim with clothes and accessories too. You don't know how happy it makes me. Well, what are you waiting for? Jump out of those old dirty clothes. Pick something with some jazz to it. It's jazz time. Arctic. What about my pants? Mustard trousers. I like this better. What about my hat? Oh yes, this is the height of fashion. Well, that is certainly a modern choice, very youthful. But what about something more classic? I think there was a nice periwinkle outfit in the bottom drawer. Try it on. Oh, I like this. Oh, sweetie, isn't that much better? I like it. You look so adorable, I could just eat you up. There's plenty more for you to try on. Don't be shy, come over anytime. I always love doing these little fashion shows with my granddaughter. Oh, what is it? You found an envelope at the bottom of the drawer? How peculiar. Well, don't make me wait. Open it. What is it you say? Pictures and letters? Oh, those are mine. How did they end up here? What a mystery! This is my husband's handwriting. Oh, it's messy, all right. He was never a delicate man. But quite handy and ever so loving. Oh, would you look at that? My backyard. All these trees. Sweet Eugene planted every tree. Planted a tree for every one of our children. And then our grandchildren. We grew apples, cherries, pears. I can remember my granddaughter playing in her mother's apple tree. Such sweet memories. Oh, look at me rambling again. Go ahead, sweetheart. I won't hold you back any longer. I like my periwinkle outfit. Look, I know I've been asking for a lot lately. I got a big appetite. It comes well with my love of food. But you know what I could go for? A bucket of fried chicken. That would bring me back. Because... The best kind of food comes in buckets. Cooking is hard sometimes. In this case, it's pretty easy. Apples and oranges. Actually, I believe it's buckets and chicken. I do need to go to Albert Shipyard because it is mailbox time. See what I mean by that one was way faster. See, why couldn't I be cutting wood like that? Why do I have to be stupid? <laughs> Take me to island! Take me to boat. I'll boat on a boat till I boat in a boat. <laughs> Excuse me. Boat. Look at his eyeball. He's freaking out. Put the wool in my pocket and the wool in my pocket. Your wool fibre. I know it's fiber, but let me have this. No. Going to space, buddy. I'll take it. Ooh, an antique bust. Damn it. The way you did that game. I will never step foot on this island again. Oh! Did you see that? Oh! Perfect timing. Alright, I don't know what else. I don't know what's up next. New Island. Take me down to the Paradise City with the grass is green and I'm going to an island. Bing, bong, bong. Ah, this is not a sitar. Hyper aggressive with this game. Hyper aggressive towards this game. Comparing this to Holloway, it's not fair. This is a separate game completely from that one. This one's just not as good. I should have looked it up. Oh, I'm done? Bet. Leak in my pocket. POCKET LEAKS! Bro be bumping. Look at him bumping. He be bumping. Oh, 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 look at him go. Oh. It's lighthouse time. It's not dark over there because they own a lighthouse. Think about it. 
penguin, Theodore, snake. Oh, an opal. A burning stone of passion and love, the stone of seduction, which resonates with burning desires and releases inhibition, but stabilizes emotions as well. I'm gonna sneeze. In other contexts, opal brings about loyalty and faithfulness. <laughs> Don't tell me you found a diamond. Incre- oh, dude. Yeah. Incredible, fantastic, this marvelous stone atta attracts abundance, strength, and power, but also courage, fortitude, creativity, imagination, and purity, not to mention harmony. Look at Stella's face, so unamused, just like me. Faithfulness, innocence, increased feelings of self-respect and love, and of course, relationships are full of pure love. In fact, diamonds are believed to fill negative spaces in oneself with the purity of love. You want a hug? Mm. Okay. Thank you, honeybee. Don't call me honeybee. I don't like you. You're a communist. Your jokes are funny. The Dauntless Dolphin. Uh, mailbox. Iron. A spirit flower. Okay, um, that thing. Dear future customer, this is Madison at Freedorama. We are currently having a huge promotion, our new food delivery service. Stop by Hummingburg and hear all about it. A sales rep is waiting on you. Cheers, Madison. Okay, thanks, Madison. Oh, letter from Albert. Stella, make sure you try change your address permanently. You'll have more letters coming in shortly. Make sure you keep up with your writing. Pen pals are the best pals. Everyone knows that. Albert, your sh local shipwright. A letter from Albert. Ah. Dear valued customer, we are running a special promotion. It closes a new type of building. And all our new Funtacular series. An air draft device. We hope you enjoy your time soaring through the air. Like the video if you like the video. Dislike the video if you dislike the video. Consider subscribing if you're new to stay holy. Stay kind and spread love. And drink water. Otherwise, cat ocean. Cat in the ocean. I'm taking the cat's ball away. I'm putting the cat in the ocean. If you don't subscribe and drink water right now, I'm waiting. I don't hear. I don't hear any of that glug glug. Drink the water.